What is up, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live to talk about the upcoming NBA preseason slate for today. We got some good games on our hands. We got uh, some value that I'm definitely looking at, Some basically some stars that I'm looking at, so on and so forth. This game is going to be interesting to me, starting off with the very first one in Boston and Philly. So this game, to say the least, is going to be played with starters. The, the starters are going to get minutes in this game. So the key thing I like to do is I like to say that people need to get the minutes. In preseason, it's all about the minutes and how much they're going to play, how much they're going to play, so on and so forth. Like we saw Luka Doncic only played 16 minutes two games ago, and then he played more the second game. So it's just all about the minutes, like I said. So both these teams are only going to play two preseason games. So that's key to me because that means the starters are going to see more run. So I wouldn't mind getting to a Jason Tatum, a Joel Embiid, or Ben Simmons. I like those three guys a lot. Tatum is the one that the highest price, so I'm kind of off of him. But we've seen Joel Embiid smash when he, whenever he does play in the minutes he gets. So I don't mind Ben Simmons either, who's polished his game a ton. I wouldn't mind getting to him, especially at only 7,700. Tobias Harris is kind of like the odd man out, but I wouldn't mind getting to him either. I think he'll see a little bit more run. Then Ben Simmons or Joel Embiid. I think Joel Embiid will see the less of the run. And Jalen Brown on the Celtics, I wouldn't mind getting to him either with no Kimball Walker. I can't pay the 6500 for Marcus Smart. Dana Green, I'm definitely not paying for DA Hunter for. Seth Curry is a shooter that I like to look at. I think he'll hit value easily with 4900 just like Jeff Teague will. I think they'll both see a good run. So I wouldn't mind locking and loading them too at all. Other than that, on the team, I'm not really getting to a Kyle O'Quinn. I'm not getting to a, to a Taco Fall. I'm not getting to any of these guys. So I definitely would look at the lowest. I would go with Seth Curry and Jeff Teague. And then up top, I would hit the just basically the studs. That's where I'd be looking at for this game. This game will be good, but we need to wait and see for more news on this one. Going now, now to the Spurs and the Houston game. I'm going to get me a lot of the Spurs. I know that's scary. I know normally we don't play Spurs in NBA DFS. This, I know. But this is preseason. It's going to be hard paying up for James Harden. We don't know how much run he's going to get at all. And now that he's finally back, I don't even know how well he's going to form with John Wall. That will be interesting to me. It will be interesting to see how them two basically play with each other on the court because we've seen John Wall play with a Bradley Bill and we see James Harden with a Russell Westbrook. We just don't know. It's the unknown, as we can tell. I'd much rather pay 8100 for John Wall than I would for James Harden because I don't know how much James Harden is going to play, even if he will. They said he will, but we don't know how many minutes he's going to get. DeMar Rosen, he's just a veteran that just is kind of the odd man out. He's not going to get you a lot of run. I'm not on him. Christian Wood is out, so that would open up minutes for DeMarcus Cousins. But if you want to pay 6200 for that, it's a little risky in my opinion. The guy I want to talk about, though, is LaMarcus Aldridge. He played 26 minutes. He got you, I got you a bunch of boards, and the points were there for him. This is a great matchup to me with no Christian Wood. He should be able to feast. In this matchup, I'm liking the Marcus Aldridge the ton. Eric Gordon is just kind of the odd man out again. Also, Daniel House Jr. I'm not getting to. Pirtle I wouldn't mind the getting to, but it is against Demarcus Cousins. That matchup is scary to me. But the guys I wanted to talk about is Vassal. Vassal is getting you great minutes, and he's looked good whenever he has been on the court. He looks to be in great form with his offense. He's definitely a value I'm looking at for sure. Lonnie Walker only played about 13 minutes. So that's scary to me, so be careful with him. But like I said, Vassal, LaMarcus Aldridge are the guys I'm looking at. I wouldn't mind getting to DeJounte Murray or no Derek White. And that's where I'm basically looking at for this game. Going now to Golden State and the Sacramento Kings. The Kings is where I'm going to be building my main stack. I like the Kings a ton. So... Uh, up top, we have De'Aaron, De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is going to get you the minutes that you need. He got he saw north of 25 minutes, and he definitely will hit value with the 7,100 price tag. Give me some De'Aaron Fox. Buddy Hill, he's inconsistent and scoring dependent, but I wouldn't mind getting to him either. Marvin Bagley is questionable, but I don't think he'll play. So look for a guy like Rashawn Holmes, who saw 26 minutes in the games he's played. I love me some Rashawn Holmes. Give me him. Halliburton saw north of 30 minutes. He's looked in great form with his offense. Give me Thomas Halliburton. And Kyle Guy, I wouldn't mind getting to either. He was the second-year sophomore who's been looking good in the minutes he's got. So that's where I'm looking at for the Kings. Going on to the Warriors, Steph Curry is a man play to me. I wouldn't mind getting to him. Andrew Wiggins, I can never get to. He's just too scoring dependent and has looked awful. 
So is K- Kelly Oubre. Jermall Green's out, so you could look to Pascal or Marquise Chris. I would definitely look for them. Now, basically going to the Spurs, let's go lock in Marcus Aldridge. Let's go lock in Vessel. Okay, so this is basically the five people that I'm liking in the lineup a ton. I like getting me a King Skak, and I like getting me some Spurs as a value play. That's where I'm definitely looking at for the slate, and that wraps up for me, guys. So hit that like button for me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps me out a ton, as y'all know. And have a great and safe rest of your day. Have a good one, everybody.